Paul Ryan is going to retire as a speaker in January. Speaker Paul Ryan is retiring at the end of this Congress, ending his speakership a little more than three years after it began. And as the GOP faces a possible loss of its majority this fall, Ryan said during a news conference that he will serve out his term and retire from Congress in January. If I am here for one more term, my kids will only have ever known me as a weekend dad. I just can't let that happen. So I will be setting new priorities in my life. Ryan also touted the GOP tax cuts passed in December as his top accomplishment as speaker. Wow, that's the two biggest achievements for, for me are first, the major reform of our tax code for the first time in 36 years. My major achievement in politics was pushing through something that less than 13% of the country wanted to see happen. Way to go, Paul Ryan. You're a professional villain. You know, maybe what happened with Paul Ryan, he listened to Rage Against the Machine again, and he really listened to the lyrics, and he thought, holy shit, I've been on the wrong side this entire time. I'm one of the villains. I'm one of the antagonists they're singing about. I wasn't supposed to root for the machine. I screwed up. Maybe that's what happened with Paul Ryan. His biggest accomplishment, passing something that less than 13% of the country wanted. When you're supposed to be a public servant. I know that's a bunch of jargon. We all know it's not actually true. Politicians serve their donors, not us. But, wow, that's his biggest achievement. Not even one where he accidentally helped a couple people. Jesse points out, can someone please whisper this idea to Rick Scott? There's a lot of people I want to whisper this idea to. Rick Scott, of course, is certainly on that list. Ryan told House Republicans of his decision at a conference meeting on Wednesday morning in the Capitol's basement. Ryan told colleagues that he came to Congress single and now has three teenagers who have only known him as a weekend dad their entire lives. If Paul Ryan was your dad, would you really want to hang out with him? Would you really want to hang out with him? He said he would run through the tape and work hard until his term ends in January, but he added he wanted to spend more time with his family. He received several standing ovations. That was probably because he was leaving. <laughs> it was probably because he was going away. They're like, we're going to stand up because Paul Ryan's going away. Um, I think, all right, I'll give you guys my take. And I'm thrilled to hear Paul Ryan's retiring. He's awful. Um, I think... I think he's just been broken by this administration. And I'm not saying that in any way to feel any kind of, like I have no pity for Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan is a repulsive human being. Um, he hates people. He wants to keep them from getting health care. He wants to keep them from getting uh, a, a fair shake at taxes. He is only there to benefit the rich, to benefit the donors, to benefit big oil, to benefit the war machine. He is uh, by all intents evil. Uh, but I think the incompetence of this administration just drove him to his bro breaking point. You know, he was the whipping boy for the whole AHCA thing, and deservedly so. And I think it just got to him, and he can't take anymore, and he doesn't want to fight the battle anymore. And he knows that his congressional, uh, his district is a hot one. Uh, Balthazar points out he'll spend more time with his family of donors. Thank you, Balthazar, and thank you very much for the Super Chat contribution. Jesse points out those poor kids. Yeah, why would you want to spend more time with your kids when they're teenagers? Hey, I want to spend more time with my kids at the exact moment they don't want me around. Paul Ryan's getting, they're going to be like, hey, please drop us off around the block. Please drop us off. We don't want to be, especially if your dad's Paul Ryan, you really don't want to be dropped off right in front of the movie theater. So that's a load of BS. There's no way he wants to spend more time with this kid. The incompetence of the Trump administration broke him. And good freaking riddance. Good riddance, Paul Ryan. Goodbye. And uh, we'll see what happens here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That was a clip from Get Your News On with Ron, the world's first viewer curated streaming news show. What does that mean? That means I log on to a stream and people tweet me articles over on Twitter at Ron Placone, or they use our Reddit subsection, which is just Get Your News On with Ron over on Reddit. And that's how we build the show. I'm seeing all these articles for the first time. 
We are literally getting our news on together. Follow me on Twitter at Ron Flacone so you can participate. And this show streams live every Tuesday through Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So please do tune in. If you want to support this show, you can do so over on patreon.com slash Ron Flacone, where for as low as a dollar a month, you get access to exclusive podcasts every week, exclusive videos, free tickets to shows when I'm performing in your town, and more for as low as a dollar a month. Please do consider it. Thank you so much for your support. This has been Get Your News On with Ron.